Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by today's title, I am going to be doing a how I curl my hair video. I do use a curling wand. It's the new me. Um, lately this has been giving me problems though and I'll like keep turning off mid curling my hair. So I'm really hoping that doesn't happen. Um, but this is the five in one. It has five interchangeable heads. I've literally never used any of the other four besides the one that's in my curling iron. And like I kind of wish I did only because I feel like, you know, change it up. But whatever, lesson learned. The next curling wand I get, I'm probably just going to buy like three different wands itself rather than the interchangeable heads because the thing with the interchangeable head if I wanted to do like some big waves and then some tighter like all in one which is like the main reason I got it when you take it off this thing it, it gets so freaking hot that even if I wanted to change it like mid curl I can't because it gets so hot so if I was going to do that I would literally just buy a whole new thing rather than interchangeable heads so the heat protectant I use is the Tresemme um, heat tamer. So, I curl my hair a lot different than most people. I know most people usually part their hair and they do like two sections. I don't do that um, because I already have very thick hair. I feel like it makes it very, very like puffy, which I don't like. So, this is what I do. First thing I do is I take a majority of my bangs and I literally, I'm going to look ridiculous for a majority of this video, but it's okay. But I flip them over and I literally clip them to the other side. I already parted my hair down the middle anyways, which is what I normally part my hair. So if you were to do it, I would just suggest parting your hair to begin with. First thing I do is I grab a section. I grab very thin sections. I don't have to hold the curling wand on my hair as long as I would if I had a thicker piece, if that makes sense. I don't even know if that makes sense. So I'm gonna take it and I always curl away from my face. That's just how I like my curls. Um, and I'm gonna start up here and I just wrap, wrap, wrap. And that probably always happens to me. You're gonna see a lot how many times I lose the pieces and then I hold it one. And then I hold it for eight seconds and then that is the curl. Um, I don't do anything to the curls until I'm completely done with them. Like I won't brush them out or anything. The only time I like brush them out is when I feel like I took too big of a piece and I'll split it in half and then I'll recurl the sections. So same thing. I pretty much go to the root and I just wrap around. Sorry if I'm not looking at the camera. It's because the mirror is right here and I'll literally burn my finger off if I look at the viewfinder. And then like see how this one kind of got like divided when that happens i try to just untangle them and i let them be their own little curl so i pretty much just take random pieces from random spots like i don't just split it all the way down um so i guess it technically is kind of like parting my hair but i don't actually part it because i don't like the way it like turns out and then so it's like that i literally love curling my hair it just takes so long to do and it's such a process for me to curl my hair because i have naturally like wavy curly hair so when i do it see like this section was too big so it kind of got weird so i'm just gonna take the piece that divided itself and just recurl it Okay, so that one is a little bit looser than I like, but I'm just going to leave it. So I like to curl my hair. It's a whole process because I have naturally like wavy curly hair, obviously not like this, but so when I want to curl my hair, I have to know like four days in advance so I could wash my hair. Like say, okay, say I want to curl my hair for a Friday night. I'll have to make sure my hair is washed by Tuesday so that Wednesday like when it's completely fully dry, I could straighten it or Thursday. 
So like by Tuesday or Wednesday, I'll have to like have washed my hair. Then by the next day, I'll have to make sure it's completely dry and then I'll straighten it. Okay. And then that next day, I usually like to wait two days to curl it. Otherwise, it like the curl doesn't hold and my hair is not as... Because curls hold better when your hair is dirty. Um, and I literally only wash my hair once a week. So I will like straighten it Wednesday or maybe Thursday morning. And then I'll wait until Friday night. And then I will curl my hair. So like my hair has been straight for two days now. That's why when you first saw it, it was like not completely pinned straight. Um... So, yeah, it's like a whole process to curl my hair, but I actually always end up loving the way it comes out. The days I don't is the days that, like, I had, like, just straightened my hair that morning or the night before, and, like, I didn't give it enough time for it to, like, settle, if that makes sense. I don't even know if that makes any sense or if that even is logical, but that's literally the only way my hair will look good curled, so... And when I take small sections, that's what I highly recommend to everybody is to take as small of a section as you possibly can. Because the bigger it is, the like looser the curl is going to be. And as you can see, I make my curls like pretty tight. You'll see like at the end, I'm going to let them like loosen out. Like this piece is I already know is going to be too thick, but it's okay. Just hold it a little bit longer on the curling wand. So again, as you can see, all my curls, I curl, I literally will curl all the way to the root of my head. And then as usually as I get more to the back of my head, I'll hold it for like 10 to 12 seconds because that's where your hair is actually thicker. Just run my fingers through my hair right before I put it on the thing just to like brush it out a little bit. I don't like completely brushing it out because then the hairs get too like um, scattered away. I don't even know how to describe it. But like you know when you like brush your hair after you haven't brushed it all day and it gets like so soft and it's like almost like I don't even know how to like I feel like you guys will know what I'm talking about. Like when you brush it and it's just like so like all separated and it's like very very soft that my hair will not hold in a curl if it's like that so i'll brush it right before i like start curling the whole head and then that's it that's the last time i put a brush to my head and then like as you guys could see i'm just taking literally random sections from my hair so i guess it almost is like parting it but it's n not really parting it sorry if i'm horrible at explaining things i always have been so Hopefully you guys can just understand what I'm saying. Alright, so I have one more piece after this for this side and then I have to do my bangs. Alright, so let me show you. Can you see? Can you see? These are the curls without my bangs in front. Just make sure it's all even. Then what I'm going to do is divide it. So as you can see, this piece was a lot longer than this one. So I make sure I take this piece and I'm going to curl it. Okay, and then my bangs. This is one, this part is like always the trickiest for me because they don't want us ever stay on the barrel. I will take this section probably, I'm just gonna do by itself because it will go in the other one. So whenever I take small pieces like that, I'll literally only hold it for like three seconds. Otherwise you'll burn your hair off, people. Okay, so now for this part. Again, I'm pretty much going right to the root and you'll see why. I hold it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So as you see, that one I held for a little bit longer because 
it won't stay if I don't. So, right now I look like a poodle. I know I do. Just trust me. So what I'm gonna do now is the other section. I do not put any kinds of hairspray in my hair at all when I curl my hair. Um, only because my hair pretty much will stay and then the way they loosen out is they end up looking nice so I don't want them to stay at like this consistency because when I spray them then they get like um almost like frizzy like and then they just don't look good as soon as I start touching it which I'm always touching my hair which I know you're not supposed to but you know it is what it is so what I'm going to do again like I just did on the other side is take my bangs I try to find all the pieces take it flop it right over and I clip it just like that and I repeat the whole thing on the other side again I curl away from my face because otherwise they're gonna go inward if you like that then that so be it I don't like when they both go the same way or when they both go in I feel like when they go out they frame your face a lot better I'll do this one section for you just so you guys could see Again, away from my face. And then that is it. I will be back when I'm on the last few sections of this side. Okay, so the last two pieces I have are my bangs. So like I did with the other side, I'm just gonna pretty much separate them and get like this big chunk that's longer out of the way. Again, right to the root I go. Oh. And because it was so thin, I only did it for like five seconds. Okay, and now my bangs. This one piece that I can't ever really curl because the way it ends, but we're just gonna deal with that. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a piece from like up here, any random piece, so it could be like two pieces together now. Take a piece right from the top and I recurl it. And I hold it for like 10 seconds. Then I do it again, a little bit further away. And then I do another piece like right in the back. I just fucking burnt my thumb and went this whole video without burning myself. Okay, and then I'm doing the same thing on the other side. Another piece next to it. So I do like about three or four pieces on each side. Okay. And then that is pretty much it. If sometimes I feel like the bangs are looking too much like Farrah Fawcett, you know, like 70s kind of vibe, I'll kind of just try to take a big piece of them and rework them but sometimes the bangs come out oh I guess not so I haven't actually curled my hair since I got my hair cut so but yeah this is it let me show you guys the back this is what it looks like from the side um and I know it looks slightly weird i don't really know why it's looking like that on camera because it doesn't look like that in person it kind of looks like bumpy do not brush them out that is my biggest advice to you guys if you do it like i do do not brush them out do not take the brush and brush them i don't even recommend really putting your fingers through them i just recommend if you know that you want to curl your hair and you're going to like a nice event or something or you just want to have your hair cur curled Make sure you curl your hair at least an hour before you go somewhere. So this way you have time for the curls to fall. If you know that your hair won't hold curls um, for that long, then I recommend um, spraying them like about like 20 minutes before you leave. So this way they will still fall a little bit, but they'll hold most of the shape. These are definitely gonna loosen up, um, but I just recommend not to brush them out because then they're gonna get puffy. This is how I curl my hair. I hope it was helpful to you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Everybody has methods that work best for them. So this is what works best for me. This is what I like. 
I recommend this for people with thicker hair. Um, I also have pretty long hair. You know, it doesn't touch my butt, but it's it's not too short. It looks short now because I curled it, but um, yeah. I'll show. I'll come back in like a half hour and show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so it's been about like 45 minutes. I just ate dinner. Um, but this is the final result. This is after waiting like 45 minutes and just letting the curls fall itself. Looks like this. So, yeah. I recommend that if you want to have like really good curls that are gonna last, don't wash your hair. Even if you know your hair gets greasy, let it be greasy, curl it all when it is greasy and stuff. And then, you know, put some dry shampoo like in the roots up here. And yeah. Okay guys, so it's like, um, like four hours later and I actually just want to show you what my hair loosened up to be like. I know I'm wearing a completely different outfit than I was before. It's because I've been making TikToks. So go check them out. This is my at right here. Um, but this is what my hair looks like after like four hours of, um, it being curled so it's all just pretty much like loose waves and i absolutely love when my hair looks like this so that's what i was saying is i usually try to make sure i curl my hair at least like an hour or two before i'm going somewhere so that they loosen up and stuff they've pretty much looked like this for the past two three hours so i would say give it at least an hour before you know you're going somewhere if you're rushing and don't hold the don't make the curls as tight you know um so yeah Sorry if it's very all over the place, but I like just was looking in the mirror and I saw how good my hair looked right now. And I was like, I gotta like show them what it looks like once the curls loosen and stuff. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please go give it a like, go subscribe down below and comment down below what videos you want to see next. While we're in quarantine, I just want to like produce a bunch of videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.